All right, here we have a 2008 Everest. Uh, the model is 345S. Uh, this is a video walkthrough. Uh, we'll start up front. You have a storage compartment right here. A nice big pass uh, storage right here. Uh, and then you have a uh, switch for your landing gears and the light. Uh, and then you have propane tanks uh, on this side. Uh, you have two 20 pounders. All you do, uh, you just turn them on. Uh, and then this is a switch that points to what tank's drawing from on the green dot. Uh, and in the center, it'll turn green. That means gas is going through. It'll turn red uh, once it's empty. Uh, and then once that's empty, you just flip it to the other tank and turn it on. Right, then you have your passer storage right here. Uh, you got your wet bay right here. So this is where you hook up your water. Uh, you can disconnect that be if you want. Um, but if you leave that on, uh, the previous customer put a filter system on this. Uh, so you would hook your hose up to here. It would just run through there uh, and then into there. Um, but if you want to bypass that, you can just disconnect that and put that your hose up there. Uh, you got a fresh water connection for a portable water tank. Uh, then this is a black tank flush. So when you're dumping your tanks, you can hook your hose up to there. And there's a little spray port and it'll just flush it out for you. Uh, you got cable hookups, uh, an outlet, uh, outside shower. Uh, you got a winterization port right here and your bypass valves. Uh, and then you got your tank valves right here. So you got your black tank, which is your toilet tank. And you got your gray tank, which is going to be your sink and shower. Uh, this is going to be for your bathroom. Uh, there is another gray tank uh, for your kitchen sink. Uh, that valve is outside. Uh, that is right here. Uh, so that handle right there, that's the valve for the kitchen sink. Uh, then you got your hot water tank right here. Uh, this is gas and electric. Uh, for the electric, the switch is right here. Uh, you just flip that switch on uh, once you're plugged in, and then uh, it'll start heating up with electric. Uh, and then if you didn't want to come out here to turn it on and off every time, uh, you could go into the breaker panel and turn the breaker off every time. You use that as a switch so you didn't have to come out here. Alright, uh, now we'll move around. Nothing else back here. Uh, you got a sewer hose storage here. Uh, you got a satellite prep here, so if you had a satellite, you could hook it up there. Uh, then you have your power cord hook up here. Uh, this is 50 amp unit uh, because you have a fireplace, a bigger refrigerator, and an air conditioner. Uh, so that requires that 50 amp hookup. All right. Uh, then on this side, you have uh, your switch for your rear stabilizer jacks uh, right here. Uh, so you just have extend and retract. Um, and you'll put those down once you get the unit leveled. Um, they're only meant for stabilizing, so you don't want to try and lift up the unit. Um, make sure you get tires on the box to level it side to side. Then you use the front landing gear uh, for front to back leveling, and then you can crank these down. All right, uh, moving down a little further. Uh, you got your entry right here. Uh, you got a cable out right here, so you could have a TV outside and some outlets. Uh, then this storage compartment right here uh, has the middle support arm for the awning. All you have to do for this, uh, there's these knobs right here and here. Uh, you just loosen those. Uh, and then this handle, you just pull it. Uh, and then it lifts right up out of your way. Uh, then you just unlock your compartment, uh, pull the arm out of the way, uh, and lift it up. And then you got the other side to the pass-through storage. And this has a, uh, a vac system in here. Uh, so you can hook a vacuum up there. And that's where you would change the bag. 
Uh, then right here uh, is where your battery is and this is the pump um, and storage tank for your slide rooms uh, because they're hydraulic all right now we'll move inside all right uh, inside moving to the right uh, we'll just go up the stairs a little bit uh, so this mirror right here, uh, you open that up and you got all your switches hidden right here. Uh, so up here, uh, you got a couple of switches for lights. Uh, so this one right here is for this hallway light. Uh, this one right here is going to be for those ceiling lights. Uh, this one right here. Let's see, what is that one for? Uh, that one is going to be, uh, there's a light on the other side. Uh, that's what that one's for. Uh, you probably won't use that as much. And this one is for the light above, uh, the entry door under the awning. Uh, then you got the switch for the fan right there, uh, which also has a light on it, which you'll have to turn on with, uh, the string. Uh, then you got switch for the water heater. Uh, this is for the gas. Um, for this, all you have to do, uh, make sure your tanks are on. Uh, you just flip it on. Once that light goes out, that means it's lit. Um, and it lights on its own. It usually takes a couple seconds. There. Now it's lit. All right, uh, then you have your monitor panel here. So you hit test and it'll tell you how full your tanks are. Uh, then you got a water pump switch right here. That's if you were using the fresh water tank. Uh, these switches up here. So you have uh, electric fans on here. All right, so this one is gonna be for the one above the kitchen. Uh, so raising it is raising the lid. Uh, you'll just raise it uh, until it stops going up. Uh, you don't keep pressing it um, because it, there is a lid on top, uh, max air uh, cover. Uh, so it's hitting on that right now. Uh, so you don't want to keep holding the switch or else it'll eventually break. Uh, so you just watch it until it stops and then you let off the switch. Uh, then you got the on off switch there, uh, so it'll turn on the fan. And then when you're done using it, you can lower it. Okay, and then the second one is going to be for, what is that one for? Oh, is that the one for the bedroom? Let's see here. Yeah, so that one is for the bedroom. So you probably have to have uh, someone watching it while uh, you raise the vent lid on it because uh, you can't see it from here. Uh, actually, you might be able to. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. And then you got on, so that one works. And then lower it. All right. And then the last two switches. Uh, this one's for your awning. So you have extend and retract. Uh, so with these awnings, they're electric. So you just hold extend and they'll roll out. And I'll show you once it's all the way out. Uh, so these don't stop on its own. Uh, so you have to watch it when rolling it out. Uh, so right about there, you'll be able to see the bare tube and there's a balance uh, that'll fold down. Uh, once you can see that, let off the switch. Because uh, if you keep holding it, it'll roll it backwards and it might cause some damage. Uh, so once you can see that tube and the balance fold down, uh, just let off the switch. And then to bring it in, you have retract and that you can just hold down uh, until it stops because 
once it gets to the end uh, up here, uh, there's no fabric left for it to roll up and it's against the unit. Uh, so we can't go anywhere else. Then your slide room switch, the last switch here. Uh, so you have in and out. Uh, this one switch will run all four of your slides because uh, it's hydraulic. So it all works off the same thing. Uh, so your bedroom will go in or out first and then uh, these ones will follow. Uh, so you just press in um, and you just keep holding that until it's all the way in and then you press out until they're all the way out. And that's basically it. Um, before you bring your slide room in and out or your slide rooms in and out, uh, just make sure all your cupboards and stuff are closed and everything's out of the way and then uh, before you open it, make sure nothing's in the way of the slides or that you could hit anything with them. All right, uh, since we're up the stairs, we'll just keep going this way next to the mirror. Uh, this is your thermostat. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, so you got heat and cool. Uh, so heat your furnace and then cool is your air conditioner. Uh, you can control the temperatures with these arrows and it'll also tell you the room temperature here. Uh, then you got a fan mode, uh, so that's just the fan and the air conditioner, uh, so you can turn that on, and then you can turn it on low or high, and that'll just circulate air, and then turn it back to auto when uh, you don't want it on, um, and then when you're going to use your air conditioner, uh, make sure the fan mode's still in auto, uh, but then you can ch still change the fan speed to high and low. Uh, so that's pretty neat and then heat is just for the furnace so the fan speeds and stuff doesn't apply to the furnace all right then behind this door is the bathroom uh, so to the right you got your light switch here and then here you have a vent and a fan in here as well uh, this one you hand crank up uh, and then there's a switch right here uh, to turn the fan on uh, then you got your toilet here with the foot lever right here. So if you press it a little bit, it'll add water. And right, then press it all the way, it'll flush it. Uh, you got some storage behind uh, the toilet. Uh, then you got your shower here. Uh, that just opens up. Uh, so you got your shower and that you can adjust up and down. And then the previous owner put this up here. Uh, this is just to hang clothes and stuff. And that does fold down, so uh, you don't have to have that sticking up. All right. Uh, then you got your sink here uh, with storage underneath and a medicine cabinet here. Uh, with some lights above. And you got a towel rack on this door. Uh, and this door goes right to the bedroom. Uh, and then you have the main entrance to the bedroom right here uh, behind this door and you got your light switch right here turns on your lights uh, you got your bed uh, your walk-in closet with mirrors uh, storage on the left and right these just slide open and then you got hanging space and there is a light in here Uh, there is washer and dryer hook up here, so if you ever wanted to get that, you could. Uh, you got your uh, dresser here. Uh, you got the TV here, which is already connected. Um, and then for travel, that just snaps up into there. Uh, more storage over here. And down there. And then your bed bed lifts up and there's some storage underneath not much uh, maybe some for a couple blankets and stuff all right uh, and then this has a heated uh, mattress on it uh, so this you would just plug in and then you can control and there's controls for each side and then there's lights above the bed uh, then right here this is the crank for the antenna on the roof 
Uh, this is for the TV satellite. Uh, so this uh, would only pick up local channels uh, and you just crank it up uh, and then you can pull this part down and rotate it uh, to try and get a better signal. And then when you crank it down, just make sure these arrows are lined up. Uh, there's a little groove on the roof that it uh, sits in uh, for storage. All right, and now we'll move down to the rear. Uh, so when you walk in straight away uh, down here, this is your uh, converter. Uh, this just has your fuses and breakers in here. Uh, you get some storage on this side of the sink. Uh, allows access to both sides. Um, and then this right here uh, pulls out. Uh, so you got some storage in there. Uh, you got your stove, an oven, a uh, household microwave, some more storage, uh, your sink, and you have a filtered water system right here. Uh, then you have your double fridge and freezer right here. Uh, and to control it, open the right top, uh, and then you got your controls right here. And then there's a little panel right here. And that dot right there will tell you what it's running on. Uh, so right now it's on auto. That's looking for electricity first. Uh, if you lose power or if you're just not plugged in, it'll automatically go to gas. Uh, so you have your buttons right here. So you just have on and off. Uh, if you press it, that light will go out. And that means it's off. Press it again. And it'll come on. Uh, then you have this button from to go to auto or gas. Um, and it lights right up instantly. So, uh, And then you can set your temperature. Uh, so 5 being the coldest and 1 being not so cold. Uh, I've run about 3. Uh, that's about the recommended. All right. Uh, other side of the freezer. Then you got your fridge down here. Nice big fridge. Uh, doors, storage as well. All right, then you got a little uh, bar right here uh, with some storage and an outlet. Uh, you got your couch here with some more storage and there's a light switch right here uh, for these lights. Uh, and then you got a whole bunch of storage back here. You got your fireplace and your TV. Uh, recliners here. And you got another light switch right here uh, for those lights. And then for this light, you got the light switch right here. Uh, and you also have another light there that just has a little light switch on it. And then these lights uh, just have a switch right here. And same with that one and that one. Uh, and then this TV, uh, if you ever needed to, uh, there's a little lever right here that you can pull up. If I can do it there. Uh, and you can pull the TV out and then you can get to the back of it right here. Uh, this is just all the paperwork. Uh, that came with the unit. Uh, the previous customer just stored it there. It's kind of out of the way. Uh, and if you ever need to get it, it's easy to get to. And uh, then that just fits back in. And then that will lock back in there. Uh, up here, you have uh, your radio. Uh, it's also your DVD player, uh, so all you would have to do is just put the DVD in, uh, and it's already connected to the TV. And you got your remotes up here, uh, so this will be for the radio and DVD player, and this is for the TV. Alright, um, and that, I believe, let's just check this. Make sure nothing's behind there. Just more storage. All right. Uh, so that is everything to do with the 2008 Everest.
345S.